Hi, I'm George, and right now we're inside of the Planet Minecraft Skin Editor. And I find the Skin Editor over here under the Minecraft tab, and it's right there, PMC Skin 3D. On this page, click on the Advanced Edition. That's the best way to work. Now, taking a look around here, first off, you can move your model around by clicking outside and dragging like this, and you can just look at all the different sides of your model right here. Right-hand side here, you can zoom in or zoom out. If you want to, you can take a screenshot of your model right there. Take screenshot, and this will show or hide the grid. It's easy if you have the grid on while you're editing. Now, I have have this kind of action pose. I use this just to test and see how the model looks. Normally I like working in a straight mode. Click on the button right here. This is your pose model. Upper left hand corner. This is the easiest way to actually edit the model. You can choose one of these poses just to see how it looks. I normally go for that one to see how it's going to be working. Now over here we have two sections in here. This is your basic skin and to the right of that overlays. If I hide the skin and show just overlays, I have just one overlay on here and that's just this hat. But I could show other overlays if I wanted to. You can kind of see that grid in there. And you can then paint in additional parts of your model. It's kind of nice to do that. If you want to paint on the overlay, then you want to have the overlay shown. If you don't want to paint on the overlay at all, just click on that and hide the overlay. We're now just painting on just on the regular image. You also can show or hide different parts of the body here. So there it is without the head. Now the reason for that is you might want to paint right up here, this top next section. Put the head back on again. Say I wanted to paint next to the arm. Just hide the arm. Click on that. Hides the arm. You can paint that inside. Then put the arm back on again. And the reason why that's important Go back here to the pose, and you can see you see that part as the body moves around. So you want to make sure that you get in there and paint all those hidden parts. Let's go back here to our default painting mode. We have two different color palettes. The basic one here, notice you can pull these around and put them anywhere you want. This is just your standard color palette. Or if you want to go fancier, you have this color mixer right here. At the very top it says triangle. That's this triangle in the middle. Or it can do a square. What these both do is they give you a chance to go from full saturation to no saturation and light to dark. Around the outside is your basic color wheel. Down below are your RGB values, red, green, and blue. And right down here is your hexadecimal. If you want to pick off of your image over here, just use that eyedropper and click on part of your image like this flesh tone right there. It then sets your foreground color as that spot. Now notice over here on our tools, the eyedropper is selected. To go back to painting mode, you want to go back here to our first button, and this is the draw mode. That's your pencil. I can now draw on the image. Let's say I wanted to make my forehead taller. I can just do that and kind of extend that up a little bit. He's losing his hair up there at the top. Or you can draw a square brush. It's just a lot larger. You can see it right there. Or a circle. Let you draw some patterning in here. Here's a triangle look right there. And you can also fill an area with a paint bucket. Down below, here's our drawing modes. This lets you put in colors of different intensity. I'll just grab a green over here. It's kind of a nice bright green. There we are. I'll grab this and then I'll paint in here. And as it comes in in different colors in there, kind of light, dark, and mid-tones, it's a real nice way to just quickly fill in some basic shades, which looks really nice on the skins, having that kind of randomness in there. Next over here does something similar, and this is a hue shift, saturation shift, and lightness shift. You can adjust all these. I'll do a little bit of a lightness shift on this. I'm just changing the lightness of that area. And you have a few more options down below here. You can mirror this across the limbs. So if I'm painting over here, it's mirroring on the other side. If I go through, it's going to mirror on the back side as well. You see, there it is. You can work with your brush stroke a little bit here. Constant or build up. Surface lock. Notice here that it's not going beyond that one surface, that one piece. Over here to wrap model, it'll paint clear across surfaces like that. It depends on how you like to work. Most of these I just leave alone. So that's all your basic tools. Now, if you want to change your color, just choose a new color over here. I'll go into the blues. It's full set. If I pull this right here, pull that kind of dot in, I can go darker or lighter. If I pull it this way, it gets lighter and more saturated up here. Across the top, just a few things in here. You can open a file. This is a nice way if you want to upload a skin you've already worked on and then modify that skin. Let's just take a look at that. I'll open the file up. And let me just open up one of my basic skins here. And I'll bring back my referee skin. There we go. There's the referee. Now, if you've worked on a skin and you want to save it, go up here to File. Come down here to Save to File. Okay, let's do a fast scan. I'm going to start with the standard Steve. There you go, basic Steve model. And let's just give him some shorts and make it sort of a bit fancier. So for that, a nice bright green, I think. And I'll start off with kind of random color here. Just brush in like that. Let's zoom in a bit, make it easier to see him. I'll leave some of that blue in there. I'm just adding in a bit more color in here. Kind of some greens with the blues. And just paint it in and let the program put in that variation for you. Now I'm working with this, so it paints around the edges. And just go right over the side like that. You want to make sure that you come in and get the insides of the sleeves and also the insides of the body. So for that, I'm going to hide the body by clicking on it over here. And I'm going to hide the head as well. And I'll just come in here and do a little bit of the stuff in here. And let's do a little bit of the stuff on this side. Let's now show the body and I'll hide the arms and also hide the legs. And I can get this inside part right here, a little bit in there, let's go over to this side, a little bit in here. And underneath, there's a little bit right down there you want to get as well. 
Let's bring back the arms and the legs and the head. There it is. Let's now give them some shorts. I'll hide the body and that's what the shorts should be. Let's give them some bright orange. There we go. And I'll just do them just like that. And then let's just be a little more careful this time. I want to make sure I get all of these spots. I'm going to hide those arms, get those out of the way so I can get clear to the edge in here. Spin her around and let's just get this section here. And we'll do the back side. There we go and this side over here. Now we have the insides. You need to get those, so I'll hide one of the legs, and we'll get this side right there, hide the other leg, and get that side. So we now have both sides of that. Okay, now we need to come in and put some flesh tone in here for his legs, and for that I'll grab the eyedropper. I'm going to grab just a medium flesh tone right there. Make sure you go back to our tool. That's this one, the noise mode tool, and I'll paint in some noise, and just come in and put in just the basic look in here for that. There we go. I need to fix that top part a little bit, as you can see. And I want to give them sandals, so I'm going to take the legs down just a bit further on this. Let's go clear down to just one at the very bottom. There we are. And paint that on this side and the back side as well. And I'll back out just a little bit. There we go. Let's do some bright blue sandals. There it is. Okay, and let's just paint straight across like that. Spin it around that bit, spin it around again, get this bit and that side. Now go underneath and let's get the bottom of those feet. Okay, that's good. Now we need to fill in some of this stuff. You know, the pants was pushing up into the shirt. So I'm going to grab my eyedropper again. Let's grab one of these blues in here. Back to our random tool. And let's just fill in a little bit of that stuff that has that purple showing right there. And on the back side, there we go. Okay, that's all set to go. I'll put the arms back on again. And there we go. Maybe I'll give it more of a Hawaiian look in here. Let's grab in some nice bright orange. And we'll change this mode up here to the circle brush. I'm just going to tap in here just a few times like that, kind of like flowers. This is a bit of a Hawaiian shirt that he's got on. If you want to put in something on the overlay, just show your overlay section. There's the top overlay up here. Go back to our brush tool. I'll do a solid color headband just right across like that. And right there, just spin that around. Kind of goes with this beach look. There we go, painting around on that overlay. So there's our beach outfit here. He can go off to Hawaii now at this point. I'll always do this last. I'll always just double check. Now let's go up here to File, and I'm going to save this to a file. I have all my skins in a file here, a folder I call it Skins on my C drive, and I'm going to call this one Beach, and choose Save. Let's say you want to put this skin up onto Planet Minecraft. You can do that right down here where it says Publish to PMC. Now you need to have an account to do this, but the account is free. You can just sign up for a free account. So Publish to PMC. There we go. I'll give this a name. Let's call it Beachwear. Give it a category. This is, of course, a human right there, and it's a male. You can give this a description. Ready for a Malibu. And then scroll down, put in a tag in here. Let's call this one Beach. When you're all set, just click on Publish Live. Then puts this up onto the Planet Minecraft collection, and then anybody can see this. There we go. There's our beach look. You can see over here, right-hand side, here's some of my other skins over there. If you want to make this your actual skin in the game, you can either use the downloaded file, or go right here where it says Change My Skin. And this takes you right to the Minecraft.net page. There we go. It has now changed the skin. All you need to do is just upload this. It then uploads the skin onto the Minecraft servers. Then I'll go ahead and choose Upload. And then down here we should see Current Skin. And there it is. Let's now double check that. And I'll do that by opening up the launcher. And we'll see if this is the skin that's showing in the launcher right now. Okay, well, here we are on my desktop and in the launcher. Let's click on Skins right there. And there it is. If you want to add this to your library over here, just click on Add to Library, and there it is. We can now get back to this at any point. Here's my standard skin right there, and then let's go back here to the one that we just made inside of Planet Minecraft. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on Share, click on Subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and I'll see you next time.